Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. So in these days of epidemic, we need to study from our home. And um, this is the first lecture from module 2, Environmental Engineering 2. In this lecture, we will cover the collection and conveyance of refuses. At first, we need to understand the requirement of collection and conveyance of refuses. So what are the require, requirement? The solid waste or liquid waste are collected and carried to a suitable point for treatment and disposal. This method of carrying refuses are divided into two points, two categories that is conservation system and another is water carry system. Now I will coming uh, one by one. First one is conservation system. So in this system, the different types of refuses are collected from the roads uh, to a suitable point by using cart or truck. In the system, night soil are collected same. Uh, the night soils are collected from laboratories uh, by, the, by, the, by using cart or truck uh, to a suitable point um, and we dispose uh, there in suitable point. Now, uh, the storm water and sewage are collected and conveyed separately by close or open rate in this conservation system. Now, if we uh, now uh, this conservation system is uh, outdated process, and uh, uh, generally we um, we um, we doesn't use this method uh, presently in, in uh, the present system um, because this is a very outdated system. And if we uh, can relate this system with our present uh, carrying system, refuse carrying system in uh, our own state, Tripura and uh, our uh, capital city Agartala, we, we can easily relate this, that this our uh, own carrying system is, uh, is, uh, is uh, related to the, we can relate this system to the conservation system. Now, uh, in our Agartala, um, the the garbage are um, collected by this uh, collected from road and street by bucket or uh, uh, bucket or bucket or pan and it is then conveyed by truck or cart. The night soil also uh, we carry by truck or cart, and the storm water and the sewage are generally uh, collected and uh, conveyed by um, the closed or open channel. So this is more or less general, uh, more or less we can collect, uh, connect that this is a uh, conservation system. Now coming to the water carry system and this is the modern technique uh, of uh, carrying refuses. Now in uh, water carry system, the water is used as a medium to convey the solid waste to a disposal point. Now in the system, water water are used as a medium. Water is uh, mixed with the, uh, water mixed with the solid waste in a sufficient amount so that the solid waste will act like a liquid and it will be uh, it will be uh, it will be disposed. It it it, uh, it can be easily disposed to the um, disposal point where we can uh, we can treat it or we can dispose it. Now. Mm, as I said, this conservation system uh, is an outdated system and, uh, and uh, um, in our present day water case system uh, we use, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, um, we can make a comparison between this conservation system and water case system uh, where um, we can see where we can see in conservation system I have put uh, put a negative sign with the conservation system in the slide and I have put a um, positive sign with the water carry system. So in uh, in uh, conservation system if we if we can see in this uh, slide it is uh, laid above the ground but it is uh, it is not hygienic this is not a hygienic uh, process and in water carry system it is laid below the ground but it is uh, a hygiene, hygienic system. Um, putrefaction is there in conservation system and there is no uh, chance for putrefaction in uh, water carrier system. The, uh, the labor force required uh, it is much more in case of conservation system but in case of uh, water carrier system we uh, need a less number of labor. 
the ones uh, the water grid system is cheaper uh, initially it is uh, it is uh, cheaper but uh, the ex uh, but it uh, but it uh, take it but it is more expensive uh, in case of in uh, in case of maintenance uh, this uh, system now uh, in case of water grid system uh, it is expensive in initial uh, cost but maintenance cost are low now uh, in conservation system it does not require skill labor it does not require skill labor in conservation system but in case of water grid system we will require a um, a group of skill labor now in uh, conservation system if we if we apply the conservation system in our city in our society the the city and society remain clean and uh, and uh, uh, and as i told earlier this uh, the conservation system is not a uh, hygiene process but in case of water grid system city uh, appears neat and clean because this is uh, this is a uh, hygiene system now from this uh, comparison we can easily uh, we easily uh, figure it out that conservation system is a uh, is a system which is outdated and we uh, and we uh, we can observe this uh, that we have lot uh, lots of drawbacks in conservation system and in case of water grid system we generally can uh, found this is a um, modern system and uh, this is an uh, hygiene and this is this is a little bit a scientific system we can uh, use it for our society we can use it for our city to make it clean and high, uh, to uh, to maintain a, a high level of hygiene now coming to the system of sewerage now what is sewerage sewerage is the entire science of collecting and carrying sewage through sewers by water grid system we already know we already know what is water grid system now this uh, system of sewerage by which we generally collect uh, the sewage um, by water grid system that is divided under three category there is separate system combined system and partially separated separated system sewerage now coming uh, one by one uh, to the point first point is uh, separate system in the separate uh, in the separate system uh, two sewer pipes are laid one is one is for uh, one is to carry uh, the sewage and another is uh, to carry the uh, storm water and uh, in case of combined system only uh, one uh, single pipe is um, laid and it carries both uh, namely uh, sewage and storm water in case of partially separated system there is also have a single pipe to carry the rain water and sewage but in case of rainy season when the quantity of storm water exceed a permissible limit it collected and conveyed in open drain to the natural river or stream so basically in partially separated system we use a single drain like combined system and it we allow both the sewage and um, the rain water uh, to flow through now coming to the Uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, this separate system and com separate system combined system and partially separated system uh, this uh, uh, all this system has its own advantages and disadvantages now coming to the advantages of advantages of separate system in a separate system the load on treatment unit become less the natural water is not unnecessarily polluted in the system the sewage is the sewers are small in size generally in separate system because um, the rain water and uh, sewage are uh, carried by two separate drain in separate system now coming to the combined system <coughs> now uh, before coming to the combined system uh, the disadvantages of separate system in disadvantages of separate system the cleaning of sewers are very difficult in case of separate system because the size of um, the pipe in separate systems are small the maintenance costs are high in case of separate system the self cleaning velocity is 
not easily achieved in case of separate system now coming to the advantages of combined system uh, and the combined system it is easy to clean uh, the pipe the sewers pipe in combined system because the size of pipes are large in case of combined system the maintenance cost are reasonable in case of uh, combined system the storm water reduce the strength of sewage by dilution the system requires only one set of uh, sewers and it uh, may thus provide to be an economical uh, economical option or it, it, it will be in economical side now coming to the disadvantages of combined system uh, combined uh, this combined system also have uh, some disadvantages uh, like during extra uh, extraordinarily heavy rain the load on the sewer pipe get increase and uh, it may overflow and it may the support the public health in uh, danger the load on treatment plant increase in case of combined system the storm water is unnecessarily polluted in case of combined system because in the system the storm water and the sewage are carried uh, in a undivided um, through an undivided channel or a, uh, or we can say through a single channel now coming to the partially separated system uh, this uh, advantages of partially separated uh, systems uh, is combination of co combination of advantages of both the separate and combined system the entry of storm water avoid silting in sewers in case of partially separated system the uh, the problem of disposing storm water from houses simplified in case of partially separated system now coming to the disadvantages it also have some disadvantages like the quantity of storm water admitted in sewers may increase the load on pump and treatment unit the velocity of flow is low in dry season because in case of partially separated system the water is allowed to enter in the system only in the rainy season and in dry season uh, the water doesn't allow in the in this uh, in the system so um, the velocity of flow generally we generally get the low velocity in dry season in partially separated system now coming to the condition favorable for um, separate system now uh, following us following following at the point uh which uh, which are uh, which are representing representing the di representing the different condition where uh, this uh, separate systems are uh, favorable like first one is um, flat topography when uh, when any uh, topographical condition uh, when the to topographical condition is flat then we will consider the separate system now second point is fund if the available fund does not permit the installation of combined sewers then we will go with the separate system now third one is gradient of sewers if uh, it is not possible to lay sewers at suitable gradient then there will be uh, there will be uh, there will be fear of backing up um, of uh, backing up uh, of uh, sewage into the house so under such circumstances it is uh, desirable to install separate system next one is uh, pumping when it is necessary to pump the sanitary sewage the adopting of the system will reduce the load on the pump so when uh, it is necessary to uh, necessary to use a pump uh, for the uh, to uh, to uh, carry uh, the um, uh, to carry the um, sewage so in that case a uh, uh, separate system is suitable because in uh, separate system uh, there will be a less load on the pump now soil of uh, laying now uh, if uh, sewers are to be laid through hard rocky soil it become difficult to lay combined sewers which are usually usually of large size now because the size of the combined sewers are larger than the separate system then that will be very much difficult to lay a, a combined uh, system in uh, in a in a rocky soil now next one is uh, the time of laying sewers 
if the sewer search, uh, if sewer are to be laid before the area is developed, then obviously we'll go with the separate system. Now, last point is uneven rainfall. When the rainfall is uneven throughout the year, it becomes uh, economical to use the separate system. Now, coming to the uh, next slide, that is the condition favorable for combined system. Uh, here we have the three uh, major point. Uh, one is even rainfall when uh, when uh, the rainfall is uh, spread throughout the year, evenly spread throughout the year. Then we will go with uh, the combined system. The pumping when the pumping is required for sanitary sewage as well as for the rainwater for both sanitary sewage and rainwater. In that condition, obviously we will uh, go with the combined system. Now. Uh, next one is uh, the restricted space when the space available for uh, the laying of sewers is restricted then we'll obviously we'll go with the this separate system because uh, although the size of the combined system is a uh, combined system and the size of the combined system is large but it it acquired acquired the less place compared to the separate system because separate systems uh, in the separate in the separate system we will have the two pipe and in and the combined system uh, we will have a single pipe so it will accumulate a less space uh, compared to the separate system